MSI, how many slightly different Z790 boards are you going to release? Because now we're getting the brand new MSI Pro Z790 VC, which at just $180 is definitely one of the more budget Z790 options. So what do you get with it? Well, starting off with CPU power, here you get 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phases, which combined with the 8 plus 4 pin config for CPU power. It's by no means a standard feature, but you really don't have to worry about it unless you're some hardcore overclocker or something. What is the standard feature, as you can probably guess just by looking at the thing, is the amount of PCIe slots with 6 in total. However, while the primary PC Gen 5 slot is 16x, one of them is just 4x Gen 3, and the last two are just 1 X, not to mention the two tiny little 1x slots for good measure. That means that if you have a system with a lot of expansion cards, which I don't imagine for it to be a lot of people in 2024, but still you get my point, then this is definitely a mobile board for you. However, all of that extra PC expansion is also at a cost to the storage, because you only get two M.2 slots, with both of them being Gen 4, so no Gen 5 storage here, plus only four SATA connectors. So the storage is definitely a bit more limited compared to many other Z790 boards. And then there's also the rear IO, which is just fine, I guess. Probably the biggest disappointment is the fact you only get six USB Type-A ports, though at least only two of them are USB Gen 2. And at least you do get the full 20 gigabit per second USB Type-C port as well. And most importantly of all, you also get that sweet, sweet PS2. Add to that both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, 2.5 gig Ethernet, which is pretty standard for Z790, Wi-Fi 7, which is an awesome touch to see here in such a budget board, and finally, six audio jacks, with unfortunately no optical speed of option. Though even more unfortunately than that, it's also using the budget budget ALC 897 codec, meaning that for $180 it's definitely not the worst mode board in the world, but it really doesn't excel at anything apart from PC expansion, so if that's just something you really really need for whatever reason, then sure go for it. But you can also get mobile boards that are so much more capable. For example, the MSI Pro Z790P costs just $10 more and has some pretty nice features as well. And even Azeroc has some pretty good alternatives at the same price point with things like the Lightning. So definitely check out our other videos on those other Z790 mobile boards to help you make a choice. And if you want to get this one, then our links to it will be down in the video description below, where you'll also find a Patreon because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Dev Panda, Nasca with Kane, Balash Velka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and i see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.